Let me take you to the concept of even and odd functions. Assuming that there is one function fx, obviously that has to be a real valued function or uh, that should not be giving any values to infinity tending to infinity otherwise then there is no point taking that function. So, we have a function just the ordinary function and for every x I put minus x. So, if this nature is revealed by the function that f of minus x is equal to fx then we call that function an even function. For example, I take cos x. What is cos of minus x in, in place of x? If I put minus x, what happens cos of, with cos of minus x? That is cos of minus theta and what is cos of minus theta? Cos theta. So, obviously, if f x is cos of x, then f of minus x will be cos of minus x, which is again cos of x. Let me repeat, if I take f x is equal to cos x and I tell you to put minus, what is f of minus x? Cos of minus x. What is cos of minus x? That is a cos of x. So, you could see that f of minus x is again f x. So, I will call cos x an even function. So, whenever f of minus x is f x, that function is an even function. Now, I am taking you to another format. If I put minus x in place of x and I get minus of f x, then we will call that function an odd function. You got that right. Now, I can take the example of sin x. If I tell you to put x as minus x, that is f of minus x, then obviously you will say sin of minus x. And what is sin of minus theta? Minus sin theta. So, your answer would be minus sin x. So, f of minus x is now minus of f x. So, I will say that sin x is an odd function. So, this is the a little gist about even and odd functions so that you can you can apply and you can use that property with the thorough knowledge.